Let's give this a go. So you. Let's uh let's have some friends. I've really been enjoying this mod. I think that it's really good. Why not give my ally Marauders? Because Marauders are good. Why would we want a good ally? <laughs> Watch your corners, boys. We want an incredibly average ally. Okay, I just realized we don't have like any upgrades for these guys. I guess we do have Marauder. Oh, okay. The mysteries of this place are forbidden. Thank you, Tosh Goons. <laughs> Saving the fact that I don't have the upgrades that I need. Those Protoss cannons will tear us a new one if we try to advance. We'll just make sure he's nice and healed up. Where are they? So for here, we want to blast these. I don't know if he comes with us or not. Dad Pounder 420, thank you for the five community gift subs. I appreciate it, my dude. Let's do this. Are we going to get Warfield on Char? That is a good question, and unfortunately, even if we do, we'll only get to use him for a very tiny amount of time. But I would like to see our friend Warfield. Siege tanks work just like the old ones. When you put them in siege mode, they get increased range and firepower. All right, siege mode. They can't move in siege mode, so if you need to reposition them, set this for the slow. Got it? All right, Tosh, protect me. You got it. Let's get some siege tanks deployed on the high ground. They can pound that Protoss stalker before it even gets close to us. Oh yeah, concussive shells is the greatest ability in the history of mankind. <laughs> No, unfortunately, we cannot give our allies predators, guys. If we could, it would be fantastic. But it is not. The armory stuff is not an option to force them to build. We learned that last week. Okay, so Tasha's taking a look around. I don't know if the Protoss actually want to stab us in the back. And then Deke is going to grab his expansion. And we are going to play really defensive this time. Because, uh. Yeah, I don't want to die. I have a feeling that taking this ridge is going to be really nice because Deke is going to have this area, which is going to make defending a lot easier. Of course, we're going to have a lot less money to work with. So, yeah. Oh, can I help you? Oh, yeah, we can help you. Go over here. Oh, they're over there already, though. Um, We're going to deal with this, and then we're going to go help our brother. And we're going to go real gas heavy real quick so we can get lots Sir, and lots of siege tanks. What's left of the Mobius expedition now, the, uh, for people the that are watching this on the archive, this is day two, and last day was last week, so uh, I'm kind of catching up on... on? Why is my building helper off? <laughs> what, what a unique interpretation of the hockey gremlin. <laughs> I've never seen that one happen before, but sure. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to relearn a couple of things just because, uh, from my perspective, it has been quite a while. It shouldn't be too bad, though. Why is this zealot coming from over here? Okay, now we're going to go help our ally on the side. And... The Hockey Gremlin. <laughs> That's the Canadian version of the Hockey Gremlin. Don't want to take damage on these tanks. This is actually really good timing, so we should be able to open all this up now. And the Spectre should help deal with the air units. Oh, you know what's really good? Put the damage siege tank in the front. That's super smart. That's what they call a pro game remove. All right, we helped him out. Try not die. Chitin. But not the armor kind. If only we had Chitin's plating on our siege tanks. Okay, let's start getting our defenses ready. A lot of stuff on this right-hand side now. Yeah, they just like sending their little trickle of dudes. We gotta keep our allies safe as everything is being built up. Tosh seems to be living his best life. And I wonder how many I'm actually gonna be able to afford, like, production structures. I kind of feel like it's like one and a half factories. 
So maybe I just focus on getting some armory upgrades instead and keeping everything repaired. Because I definitely want engineering bays and stuff on this mission for safety. One thing that's really nice with the AI ally stuff is that usually when you're playing this mission, you don't have a whole lot right now because you've invested into the expansion. Uh, that's fine. But because we don't do that, there's no reason to uh, get an expansion because our ally takes it. We end up having a lot of stuff early, so these early waves are very easy. Thank you, Tosh Goons. I am very concerned about the supply limit here of 100 because I want to have anti-air. A little bit at least. Probably in the form of Goliath. But I also want to have enough tanks to vaporize everything that is ever considered existing. And unfortunately when you're capped at 100 supply you don't really have the ability to do both of those. Now Tosh did say that he was preparing to like deal with attacks from behind. So I'm just gonna drop a turret here. You would desecrate that which belongs to I'm gonna try to not use the turret for as long as possible. Rather, the Dragon Laser Drill. Like, this sort of thing, I am 90% sure that we are fine against. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. We'll see. Alright. But it would be really nice to not have to utilize our... It's just a waste of time, and this mission is going to get harder and harder as time goes on. Oh gosh, those hit hard. We were almost at the right uh, number slash unit count slash whatever. Don't go after the tanks. Yeah, there we go. After the infantry. We got to open that supply up anyway. Perfect. Now they're going to come over here, and it looks like our allies got his bunker done. What's that? No, oh, nothing. So what we're going to do is the ultimate defensive setup, where you leave a very small gap, and it makes the enemy have a really hard time. Okay, repair your thing, dude. They're breaking in! If it was Tosh, they'd be breaking out. Okay, that immortal hits hard. I think we're fine. Uh, I might have been a bit too greedy here. Hmm. I still think it's going to be okay. I do think that I can afford a second factory. No, I can't. I don't have a barracks. Alright, I'm going to try something that I've never done before. And I'm going to improve this strategy with a perdition turret right here. So they think they're going to be able to get through. And then they're going to get perdished. We're going to dish out the punishment. Definitely have to stop the warp prisms. And the Void Race. Uh, come on, Drill. Save me. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're a good Drill. How's it going over here? Hey, they dealt with everything. Very nice. Okay, factory number two now. I'm giving the Perditions their fair shot. And they're going to be incredibly average, but that's okay. This. Sir, I'm picking up the energy oh. signatures of several Protoss oh. relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Now, do we want to... How do we help out that side? I'm not entirely sure. Don't, don't pin him down. Don't pin him down. He needs to be free. 
So the way you want to do this is you want all the tanks to be fairly far back. And then they're going to funnel right on into here and they're going to get wrecked. Those fools. Yeah, just like that. Mmm, that's what we're looking for. I like it. Go ahead. What's our target? Those are all coming over here. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. But the high ground tanks will deal with it as long as our ally can repair. I'm not sure they can out-repair this, though. Oh, sorry, did I doubt? Well, they're coming over here. Oh, this is awkward. I didn't expect them to just walk up the ramp. I've... That's not something they... What are they doing? Oh, the AI is acting really weird. Not my AI, but the enemy AI. Like... They are not acting the way they normally do. There's something going on with the target priority of allies that is, um, that caused them to like charge up this ramp instead of attacking over here, which is what I thought they would do because they don't have vision. So normally they wouldn't go after that. I uh, didn't understand how it was going to work. So this isn't good, obviously. We might be able to save our ally. He at least has those two specters. Yes, sir. Okay, you guys gotta pull back and then... Sure. Deke doing Deke things. CG's here. I have no idea if he's gonna start rebuilding the thing. Remember, first game of the day never counts. So, you know, unless we win, unless we win. The yeah, that area is dealt with. Well, at least we got Marsara Rebels doing their rebel thing. Oh gosh, those things are tanky. Okay, we have full damage tech. Oh, they blinked on top of my tanks. Oh. Well, that just killed all of them. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this area is not as safe as it usually is. You can tell by the fact that it's not working out. Unfortunately, I don't really have any other choices right now. Try to save, try to save. This is so many enemies. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, camp in production too. Yeah, this is way more attack waves than normal. It is absolutely d uh, dialed in to have the AI allies helping. Sir, more air units inbound. We gotta take them out. Or they'll okay. be dropping troops right on top of us. Base is under attack. Drill, 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 drill. This is so many people. My goodness. Wow. Get an SCV to repair that laser Alright, uh, I'm, I'm restarting from the beginning. This is absolutely a dead one. <laughs> it's, uh... I... Ooh, everything about that was bad. I guess we can reload from getting the base. That's probably the best way to do it. I think I got my second gas too early as well. All right, we're going to open this up for the ally so that he can start getting his base really early. It seems to be a very big delay if you don't charge this ASAP. I think that's going to be one of the most important things we can do. And if they have this base up and running, this is going to be like a couple minutes earlier than before. And I think with friendship, we should be really okay. 
friendship and a second factory. <laughs> cool. We're good. All right, that's all gone. Sir, I've managed to access what's left of the Mobius Pull everything back. Sensor net. I'll route it through your map so you can see what the Taldarim are up to. This better be good. Outstanding. What's that? Siege, siege, What's siege. This should be a really good position. He's going to have his stuff up so quickly this time. Like, this is night and day difference from before. I just didn't know that I could get away with it. I wasn't sure exactly how much they wanted me to clear over here. The fact that it was two photon cannons is a very low time investment. Oh, forgot the depot. Yeah, I forgot the depot because I'm used to having... Uh, command Center at the beginning here. What are you doing, bud? You're not a great warrior. You're not supposed to be charging out there. Well, I'd have more workers if I didn't get that supply block. That's a mistake. Ever tried the static defense only challenge? I would rather be hit by a bus. Armed and ready. Okay, we got that going. Ready. Siege up. And then try to gently tap them with concussive shells in order to reduce incoming damage. Or rather, stop them from connecting. Which means the tanks are not the ones taking the damage. Perfect. So we're going to target the first couple rounds of Immortals, just like normal. Until our ally can actually get his stuff up and going. And then we should be fine to be... Because usually you don't have to target the Immortals anyway for a really long time. Just a little bit at the beginning to get stable. Oh, hello. If only he knew how to build a bear. Or a bunker. Or a planetary. I don't mind my allies building static defense. In fact, I encourage it because it's a thing I don't enjoy doing. I guess we'll get an armor upgrade. Uh, I'm not sure that we need the armor upgrade. Not yet. I would rather have another tank at this point. Maybe once we have like 10 to 20 tanks, it'll be worth it. But the best armor upgrade is another tank so you don't take the damage. I am, as I said before, still a little bit in fear of the airwave. I think it's going to be a little bit rough. Oh, I targeted the immortal instead. Whoops. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. See if you can use it against the Protoss. All right. You heard the man. Swing that I gotta make sure that I don't block off my ally <laughs> as he sends the reinforcements. He doesn't send much, but he sends stuff. And stuff is better than no stuff. Oh gosh, this guy is completely inept. I would rather just have his base, honestly. <laughs> I could make much better use of the money than he is. No, don't attack with the SCVs, dude! <sighs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Well, there goes a medic. You gonna give me orders? Go ahead. What's that? I know it's not great, but I'm gonna put two tanks up here just to try to help him get his stuff together. Cause this guy ah, build a bear or bunker. Can we defend, please?
I'm just gonna kite back for a little bit. Yeah, go after the drill. Thank you. That was incredibly helpful. <laughs> Thank you, dumb AI. Why, why, Deke, why are you sending your guys to attack? I just want you to defend. Forgot about this button. Hey, that's actually really nice for the airwave. I'm supply blocked now. I'm going to pair up these turrets. Something like that. Oh, he figured it out. D Deke, stop, 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 Deke. Deke. Alert. Enemy air units on oh, this boy. Damn it. Air units. Nothing. He's Those just not very smart. <laughs> Use the laser to knock him down fast. Get on me. I think we're doing incredibly well because of the turrets and these drop goliaths. Yeah, we're good. The airwave got absolutely demolished there. That was great. Because remember, I did get the upgrades for the Goliaths, multi-lock weapon systems and all that. I think it's right to get another pair of guys. And set this up. I didn't really like the perdition. I think it's better to just have the energy signatures of several an opening. Relics in the area. I'm marking them on your map. Doing good. Yeah, we'll do that in a bit. We just want a real nice arc of siege tanks right here. And a couple more on this side, and after we deal with all of these, it might be bonus objective time. Oh, sorry, SCV. I do think Perdition's right here would be really nice. Just so if the Zealots do manage to get in, it'll pop up and be like, LOL, you're not attacking my tanks. Then the animal will be like, oh no, I'm not attacking their tanks. They're not breaking in. We got everybody here. The whole team. Including the drill. Tank him, Deke. Retreat, Deke. Deke don't need HP. <laughs> what a legend. Get some stuff back there for the boy. Start burning through this. Are we supposed to take that, or is that an ally base? I don't want to mess it up, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay. I like having the group of Goliaths that moves around. We have a decent tank count at this point. I kind of want to get a medic for Deke. Eh, I'd have to get Tech Lab. That's really expensive. Get some repair stuff over here. These guys are over here. I don't know. This seems pretty good. You're going to be a temporary part of the siege line. We're going to annihilate that. These guys I'm a little bit more iffy about, so I'm just going to focus on... Oh, they didn't attack. Nice. Yeah, this is feeling infinitely better. One, uh, when we got the base for our ally really quickly, everything was significantly more alright. Sending more. The laser drill is now cutting through the door's thermal barrier. Cool. Those guys are going over here, which means it is the perfect time to get stuck on structures. Ten four. Our 
Archons don't concern me. Oh. Goodbye, Deke. I'll see you next mission, bud. Ow, 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 ow. We're gonna have to replace those. Goliaths are really three supply. What a scam. Back in my day, Goliaths cost a hundred minerals and they only cost two supply. The good days. I think we can kind of cruise from now on. We're gonna be all right. Sir, more air units inbound. Oh. We gotta take them out, or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Where are we gonna take them out to? Gonna bring them to like uh, Olive Garden? Maybe a Red Robin? Not really a good first date, but you know that's just how Jim do. As long as you don't take them to Panera because they're not very good. Sorry for all the Panera fans in chat. I just realized that was incredibly offensive. It is your right to pay like $7 for a very small and not very good sandwich. Panera fans in shambles. Sorry, Panera fan in shambles. It's singular, not plural. Oh gosh, someone is so upset right now, and it's great. Hmm, I think I want these two guys assisting on this side. Maybe a little bit right here. And then the Goliath force is going to be the mobile squad. Got to make sure to target the High Templar. Yeah, this is why you do this setup. It is so good. It is the way to defend. Like, on basically every mission that you are playing against Protoss specifically, this setup is insane. It doesn't work as well against Terran because they will siege up tanks and it won't be very good. And Zerg are a little bit too swarmy that you might just, you kind of just want to have regular static defense. But against Protoss, the one gap method is very hard for them to deal with. Oh. Okay, we got eight tanks over here, eight tanks over there. There's just SCVs coming out from this point. You know what? I'm going to get armor upgrade for them. Oh, I need Spartan Company. Spartan Company is so good. Does anyone know if this mod has uh, changes for the Protoss missions? Because we are about to unlock those. It does. Nice. Love to see it. Never expected in a Wings of Liberty mod because it is a pain in the butt to do. But I am always happy when someone does. That is a uh, hint of someone going above and beyond for their mod, in my opinion. Can we fit this guy in here? Yeah, he can fit. Ooh. I'm going to get a turret right here. So, uh, funny thing about this mission is the... Colossus don't have extended thermal lance for whatever reason, which makes them uh, suspect to say the least. They they get outranged by outranged by missile turrets, which means that missile turrets are insane tanks against them. Really, really good because there are a lot of very cheap HP. Deke's doing good. Yeah, he's just a little bit slow to get started, but once he gets going, he gets going. Um, we do have nine range here. Up. There we go. There's nine range, right? Yeah. Uh, 
I mean, it costs a couple hundred minerals when you get stormed, but like, who cares? <laughs> So, Deke is good. This guy is... I'm not sure he's very helpful, but you know what? I like the fact that he exists. It, he makes me happy as a person. I'm going to move this and take down the tech lab so that I have freedom of movement between these two bases. Because I believe if something... Did we just have to push Turkey out of the way? That right, guy's Thanksgiving's coming early. Don't want him ruining my plays. <laughs> There's another wave of air units heading your way. These guys just won't give up. Stick it to them, boys. I think that we just crushed the air wave. The setup seems great. I don't really want to be going for interceptors right here, but there we go. It worked and we didn't have to pull the drill out, which means we did about 5,000 extra damage right there. It doesn't seem like a whole lot. It seems like, a, hey, just swing the drill around, but 5,000 is, I mean, that's 5% of the mission. That's, it's a true number. Particularly when you're getting to this point where you have, like, no money remaining and where we don't have the expansion base, so we have a lower bank. I think it truly does matter. How long does it take for the drill to kill the door? It's, like, third... Maybe it's 25 minutes of sustained fire? That's kind of... Something around that. Is it really actually 100 uh, damage per thing? Okay, so this number is just wrong. <laughs> I've always known this is wrong, so it's, uh, it does three times as much damage as it lists. So it's 1,000 seconds. Wait, there's no way it's 1,000 seconds. What is 1,000 seconds? That's like less than 20 minutes, right? There's no way that this mission takes less than 20 minutes if you don't use the drill. Oh, okay, so it's a... Uh, <laughs> you guys are using real world seconds, not in-game seconds. <laughs> so you gotta multiply that by 1.4, which is... Let's see. Let's do some math here because we don't have to do anything. 16 point... Or 16.67 times 1.4 equals 23.2 minutes. Even that seems a bit short. 23 minutes, like... So that would be normally finishing the mission at 25 minutes if you don't use the drill. I think that it's longer than that. Yeah, I don't believe that. I think it's a bit longer. No, no, no. I included the micro section because if it's 23 minutes, it takes two minutes to get here. Let's just see how long it takes. If we go down to 1,000 at... We got to 1,000 at 40. And then at 50, so it would be at 4? It's a little... I think it's a little bit slower. Like, it's very close to 100, but it's a little bit slower. Because it took 14 seconds, which is 10 real-world seconds. Because time is really confusing. Maybe the door just has armor. <laughs> okay. Well, that mission was, uh... When we got the base for our ally very rapidly, things were pretty good. So what do we have here? Microfiltering and orbital depots. We only need half of the depots as normal, so this ability is significantly worse than it is traditionally. And this ability is already better. So we're going to go for it. 